Hi folks, welcome back to my little shop. Recently a bunch of friends and colleagues and I got together and put in a big group order to Whitehill Tools in the UK and I was the one who received the order. So before I divvy up all that tooling to the lucky recipients, what I thought I'd do is add another video to my ongoing series on spindle molder tooling for small shops. Because I now have in my shop both of the limiter style panel raising heads that Whitehill Tools offers. So let's change up the camera angle and take a closer look. Though I don't have one in the shop to show you, I should point out that Whitehill Tools does sell a carbide insert style of panel razor as well. They have a number of profiles available off the shelf and can custom grind your specifications as well. Okay, let's talk about some similarities before we get into the differences. Both of these cutter head meet the strictest European requirements for manually operated spindle molders. In other words, they are man rated. I talked about that in an earlier video and what I'll do is I'll post a link to that earlier video in the description but I'll also provide a couple of links to UK government websites that describe this in more detail with respect to technical requirements but also with respect to what it means to you for safety. Both of these cutter heads can be used either over top of or below the stock being milled depending on any limitations that your machine may have, especially with respect to the size of the uh, size of the hole in the table, but also with respect to your work preferences. Now, the blocks themselves are not handed with respect to rotation, but the knives are. In other words, you will need to have the appropriate knife installed for how you are orienting the block. You'll notice that each of these blocks have conveniently labeled knife slots to make sure you're putting the knives in the right place for how you're using the blocks. I would get in contact with Whitehill if you have any questions about this, but they also supply a really handy pamphlet with these cutter heads when they ship them that describes all this in detail. So on to some differences. Clearly this is a much larger cutter head and in keeping with um, what's typical for larger cutter heads, this is milled out of aluminum, where this one is milled out of steel. The larger of the two blocks accepts two different knife sizes enabling milling up to 75 millimeters by 15 millimeters with the larger knife or 65 millimeters by 11 millimeters with the smaller knives. The smaller block only accepts the smaller knives enabling milling up to 48 millimeters by 11 millimeters. There are a large assortment of profiles available for each of these cutter heads off the shelf but in keeping with or consistent with the other not other cutter heads I've talked about that accept high speed steel knives you can have a profile ground to your specifications. Much like the Whitehill Combi head that I talked about earlier where there are two different size heads available the larger of the two heads is the most practical option. It's more capable in terms of profiles that you can mill with it. However, being a larger cutter head you have to make sure that you have a machine capable of running it safely. As with any of these videos, if you have any questions, go ahead and ask me in the comment section or in a direct message. Otherwise, you can contact Whitehill directly and they'll answer any questions you may have. I'll post links to them in the description below. If this video has been helpful to you, please hit the like button. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.